today we have the 40 millimeter front suspension Oye brand. So, if you had chosen to drain the oil by taking the top cap off and inverting it, that's one method. This is a really good design. Here we go. When you take out the bolt that's in the bottom, you'll see there is a copper sealing washer on there. And when you take out that big bolt, you may need to use an impact. The whole entire fork leg just comes apart just like that. There's a little piece on the end here that's removable. Don't lose track of it. Don't let it fall down in the lower leg. The bolt screws right in there in the end of that part of the fork leg. So, you can just take off your wiper and under the wiper there is a circlip that you remove and then using your normal methods you just pry out the seal and change it and put the clip and the wiper back on there. You can actually refill the fork leg by just putting a funnel right there in the top holding the leg inverted. You put your 300 cc's of oil right in there. It takes a little while but uh, there's no spill or anything. If you want to make the dampening on these forks a little slower you change the viscosity of the oil. You mix the oils. You can use a 5 weight, a 7, a 10, you can mix 5 and 7, you can mix 7 and 10. Depends on your riding style, the temperature in your area and so forth. So then when the oil has drained down in there, you're all done and no mess. Put that cap back on there, that little bushing, and you just slide the leg back over the chromium upper leg like that keeping it inverted you put the copper washer and bolt back in there and tighten it up and that's it it's that simple